Grip is an essential part of your snooker game which you must master if you want to play high level snooker. In this snooker coaching lesson, I will explain in detail correct snooker grip principles which will help you develop consistency in your cue action and play better snooker. Also, I will show you examples of bad grip holding mistakes which you should avoid in all costs. I believe this snooker lesson will be very beneficial, so enjoy watching it. Grip is one of the most essential and the most important technical parts of the game. How you hold your cue is very important. And I'm gonna show you basics how to do it well. Okay, so first thing, this part of the finger, this part, is the most important thing in the grip. What do I mean about that? I think that you have to hold your cue with the skin. You have to feel it, you see? There is no hole in your hand. Some of the snooker and pool players or other billiard players, they think if you are gonna hold cue light like this, like a tea pot, it's gonna work for them. But actually, when they're hitting the ball, they're squeezing and they're hitting too tight. Another common mistake that people are holding their cue too tight, they are squeezing the cue and it affects your movement, it affects your cue action of the, this part of the hand, okay? Like this. Okay, right now I'm gonna show you correct form of the grip. So first of all, they're holding their grip like this. Or another way around like this. Of course, everybody and every pro has different uh, grip, but in the beginning, I, I would say the best start just to make sure that your cue is your cue hand is straight like this, you see? Like this. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do correct backswing. So, some people say, okay, I have to hold my cue smooth, so I'm gonna release my fingers like this. No, no good. Better open your fingers slightly, but still hold the cue. You see? Open, closes. Open a bit, closes. If you want to improve your aiming, cue action, cue ball control, tactics and mental game, book online snooker coaching with the professional ABC snooker coach, Vilus Schulte Ebert. 80% of your grip is based off these fingers here. This first ring is very important. And also, your fourth finger is very important. So make sure that you're holding your cue with this finger as well. Because some of the snooker or pool players think that somebody told them, some local coaches, that you have to hold with the first fi three fingers and then forget another two, like this. So in the club uh, snooker, you're gonna see grips like this or this. Of course, there is some snooker players like Mark Allen or some of other uh, mentor guys who are holding with the first three fingers, but uh, like Ronnie or Judd Trump, they all have nice and uh, uh, compact grip. Your gr grip shouldn't be loose or too tight. Your grip tightness should be something between. So I'm gonna show you some shots. For example, if you're gonna play topspin, it's simple. Grip is not too tight, not too loose. With the control, slow back swing and shot. Okay, doesn't matter, but the grip is good. And uh, this is the basic of the grip. And I hope this is gonna help you develop your game and gonna take you to the next level. Practice, improve it, and see you later.
You should feel your cue with your skin between index finger and thumb. Remember thumb and index finger are very important if you want to have solid grip hand. Hold your cue with the upper part of your palm. It will help you to move your cue straighter and with the more freedom. Grip tension should be somewhere in the middle, not too tight or too loose. You have to have sense of control and cue movement and freedom at the same time. It takes a little bit time to find correct feeling, which is good for you personally, so practice it a lot. Try to hold your grip hand at a strict position with your arm, especially if you are a beginner or intermediate snooker level player. In time, it will help you to develop good muscle memory and improve your cue action a lot. Avoid turning your grip too much inside or outside of the straight position. On the last backswing, open slightly last fingers, because it will allow to keep your cue on the parallel position and help you deliver cue on the straight line. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to smash the like button, ring the bell, share this video with your snooker friends and if you are new, subscribe to our channel because we have many interesting snooker coaching videos which will help you improve your snooker game and take to another level. See you folks!